Good at it. Okay. We've been working on how do we integrate social and academic skills and weave them together so kids can do well for the rest of their life with academic skills and social skills too. There's an epidemic around the culture, around the country, about how we have to try our best and use our self-control, and now we can have a way to do it and make it tangible. So, for example, we can talk about how it's okay to make a mistake, but we did a game like this where we hit the drum and then missed the drum, and we actually experience what it's like to do the game, and then we know what it is. Then we can share stories to say, what mistake did you make and what would you do the next time? We did this ball over here, and we talked about self-control. We open up the ball and go like that, you know, close the ball, shake it, and go like that. And again, the idea is, again, who made you move? Is it me, the ball, or yourself? Because well, you made me move, the ball made me move. Well, first they thought that, but they learned the person that made them move is them, self, and that's self-control. And the idea that parents can say it, teachers, kids, um, the idea of recess, home, playground, and then all together, they internalize it, and they can use it for the rest of their life, and someday hopefully teach their kids these skills too. Okay, now it's your turn. There you go. And finally, we did a game with the bubbles. And we know you're tempted to break them, but use your self-control. It's hard for adults and kids, and we might blow them. And say, uh, bubbles can represent like walking away from a bully, a gang. When you're trying to do your work, someone goes, psst, psst, and not looking up, using your self-control to stay focused on what you need to do so you're proud of yourself.